Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do some fun stuff. We are getting ready for deer viewing season. Uh, this year we would like to view about three deer. And so what we're gonna to do today is we're coming in, our, uh, in the deer viewing alley that we have created. We're gonna till up uh, this area with the uh, 474 and the tiller and plant some fall deer viewing plants. You gonna view some deer with me? Hmm? What you find? He's a mole hunter. He's a mighty mole killer. So I'm gonna put my deer viewing platform on this tree and it's gonna be aiming back this way. I'm probably gonna come back in here with a mini clip and clip off a few of these right here. Uh, just so I can get a good, good view. I guess I could push this off here and put it on that tree. That way you me a straight shot down through there with my deer viewing apparatus. All right, here's where I'm going to clear this out. I'm gonna put my, my deer viewing platform right there. It leans up against the tree about 15 feet in the air. Probably have to push a little bit of this out too. Okay, so what I've got going on is I'm gonna go ahead and clear this area right here. I'm gonna to try to just get as much of this up as I can and set it over here out of the way behind me and then I'm gonna come in with the rakes and just run the rakes through this so that I can get this loose enough. I might even throw a little bit of, uh, uh, well, I got rye grass, I got wheat, I got a bunch of uh, turnips and stuff, you know, deer, deer stuff for the winter. I'm gonna put right here. Might put a little, just a little bit under the, the deer viewing stand and then down through that, that lane right there, I'm gonna go ahead and put little spots here, there, and yonder. So yeah, let's get to it. coming though it's gonna be a good time to do it next spring I'm probably gonna find me a spot out here after it's Got a few rains, pile a bunch of this up in the middle, burn it.
So I really don't like this one tree right here and I don't want to get a chainsaw. I, I'm going to try just to push this over. I don't recommend doing this, uh, but this soil is very sandy and very dry right now. So I think we're going to have a pretty good shot. I'm going to just push on it a few times. If it, if it goes right over, then I'm good. If not, I'm going to bring a chainsaw back out here and cut it down. So I guess it's a little more firmly planted than I thought. So I guess we'll just get the chainsaw and come back down. If I kept messing with it, it would come out, but it's no sense in bending your loader. You also, whenever I push something with a tractor, I always push in the center, like pushing the center of the gravel, or gravel so it's evenly distributed on loader. You never want to push off to one side. That's when you can really easily bend your loader. They don't have a lot of, uh, they don't have a big root system. So you can generally just yank these out. I don't even know what they are. I never seen them growing up as a kid and they're, now they're everywhere. Last year, last year, there was no light down here. This was completely dark, it, and it stayed wet year round. And by us opening this up, this has dried out quite a bit. Plus, we've not had rain, any measurable rain, in almost a month. So, uh, I see. I want to try to go down through there. Normally, that is so wet that I can't go down through there. And if I can open a lane up through there, that would be pretty nice. It would be just perfectly in line with a tree. But we'll see.
that that tree is dead, uh, but it's still solid. So there's no, I'm not moving that with with this. I'll have to go back to my original plan. I don't know if I can push this tree down or not. I may have to lay it down with a chainsaw. Pretty good sized tree. That's why I was talking about the soil differences. That one tree is must be in a, a better, a more clay area. That right there is very much sandy, wet. Like a legitimate tree. A lot of mud on the bottom of it, so I doubt we can go any further than that. There's, there's springs all over our property. If you watch our channel, you'll know a couple of years ago that we we buried a tractor out here just driving along. Root system heavy when you get closer to the root. if I can get over here. Hey, there's water. There's water squishing up out of the ground. All right, we're gonna start tilling now, and I'm just gonna till some small spots here, and then I'm just gonna go down through there tilling. And after we get our first frost, all this is gonna clear out a great, a great amount already. Uh, I can't go any further on that lane there without bringing the chainsaw in. Uh, but just because simple fact is water's just the pressure of the tractor is pushing water out of the ground and we know there's live springs over there and we literally can bury this tractor to the point that it's you know bad we're gonna get after it because it's starting to sprinkle on us Very slow because this has never been tilled. There's little little stumps in here. See how dry it is? And right over there, there's water. The water table is only about uh, probably about two feet under the under the surface here. So I've got my tiller set on auto. Scraping about maybe three or four inches now. This tiller is amazing, though. It's just chewing through that those roots and stuff. This is just the way it goes. So we've got a uh, a rain that moved in quite a bit sooner than they said it was going to. This is a pretty substantial rain too. So I'm not going to take the big camera down. We're going to go put the big camera up because it's uh, it's not really good and waterproof. We'll take one of our small action cameras down there. We're going to throw our seed out and then, uh, hey, we'll see what happens. Got a little break. We better run. We better hobble fast. I need a, I need a UTV.
Can we go now? Are you done playing? Are we done playing? Are you done playing? Can we go now? Listen, it's still warm and it's just a light rain. I love it stuff. You are. You better. are. I don't. I'm going to put my mineral blocks out here. Perfect time. Where's Gizmo at? In the camper. I don't want to puff. He ain't care nothing about the range. So I got a mineral salt brick. Hmm. Mineral salt brick. I want that taste like. Lick it. I want to. Think I'm free? No. Not do anything for that dog. Tastes like salt. Now this one is a mineral salt brick honeysuckle fever. I can't do that one though because it's got honeysuckle in it. Are you just playing just being chicken? Uh, no, you I'm, just I'm, I'm, a carnivore, I'm on a carnivore diet. Can't have no sugar. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt you. One lick. One lick. She's, she's trying to get rid of me. So what's going on? I want the big money that's waiting for me when you're gone. That's what I so. <laughs> Do you okay. hear? Huh? I'm waiting for the big money to come in when you're not here yeah, no more. Yeah. I know you married me for my money. Yep. All right, guys. I love this stuff. We got it. Uh, we got... I wish I had better uh, a better time of doing the, the spreading, but it's raining and I wanted to get it out and it's showing a big rain coming. So kind of get this all done before the big rain gets here. We should, we've got a really awesome, awesome, awesome deer viewing lane right here. Maybe right now let's let them see the deer viewing lane. Slow motion. So we won't get seasick here. Da, da, da. The tree that I'm going to put my tree stand on is about uh, probably about 25 or 30 feet further back. Choop. And right there, I'm going to put it on that tree. And that'll give me a perfect view. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Bye, everybody. God bless. I had enough, but let's get home. <laughs>